to experience strong and meaningful worship? Are you ready to engage in prayer and hear an impactful Bible-based teaching? Then get ready for Gateway Church Live, which starts right now. Welcome, everyone. It's great to see you this weekend. This is Global Impact Weekend. It's a very special weekend for us, so let's worship. Let's lift up the name of Jesus. Every tribe, every tongue, every nation. Amen? Our lives, our hearts, our hands, we're reaching to see you move again. Oh, we can hardly wait. Come fly this place. We're ready now. It's all, all about to change. Let your kingdom come, let your will be done, let your fire fall, let your fire fall. Come on, open the heaven, pour your spirit out on us, release your presence, Jesus come alive in us. It's yours, unlock the gates and open up the doors. Let your kingdom come, let your will be done. Let your fire fall, let your fire fall. Open the heaven. Pour your spirit out on us. Release your presence. in the heavens today, Lord, over our church. We pray that your kingdom come, your will will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Amen, church. Amen. That's our desire, Lord. We want to pour out our love to you. Come on, let's praise him. That's all right. It's an awesome weekend, one of my favorites out of our whole year. Uh, as part of the journey leading into the Gateway Conference, we have the Global Impact Weekend. And one of the ways that we express that is by asking worship pastors and artists from all over the world to join us on the platform across all of our campuses to help us lead worship this weekend. And so we're really excited to have some very special guests here. They're not only special guests, but they're our friends. So let me introduce you to them on your far right. Ewan and C and Chow from Taiwan, they'll be singing in Mandarin. A very familiar face to us, Ana Paula Besa from Brazil, singing in Portuguese. 
Phil Stacy. He is uh, from Kansas. He is a global music missionary. And you may recognize him. Uh, he has taken the platform that God has given him from being an American Idol finalist to share the story of Jesus all across the world. And you know Rebecca Hart, she's part of our family here. Welcome her. She travels under Gateway's banner and we're so grateful for you, Rebecca. This is Shani Ferguson from Israel, singing Hebrew. And for the first time at Gateway, Sidney Mohede from Indonesia. He'll be singing Bahasa Indonesian. We've actually sung Sydney's songs at the habitation services here, so it's great to have you here. Koala, Lorena, Zamorano, once again, our family from Mexico singing Spanish. And also, for the first time at Gateway, Kanji Bugwa from Kenya singing Swahili. Wow, what a powerhouse of God shakers shaking the nations for his glory. So let's worship as the world worships the name of Jesus, amen?
water of life What if I said I was thirsty Shout to Kufu, yes. He 
Come on, praise his name. Say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You know, Revelation 7 says there was a great multitude before the throne of God, made up of every nation, every tribe, every people, and every tongue. And we saw just a glimpse of that here today. Can you say, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Praise your name, Jesus. You know, when we do this at our Global Impact Weekend, it's always such a good reminder to me, and maybe to you too, that the language of heaven just might not be English. <laughs> we might be shocked when we get there. Listen, I want you to take just a moment, close your eyes if you would, and I want to ask you to ask the Lord something. Why don't you say, God, would you put a nation on my heart right now? I want everybody to say that to the Lord. God, would you put a nation on my heart right now? I wonder if in this place where there's thousands of us, we might just be able to cover every nation. Maybe the Lord put every nation in the heart of every person in here. And I want, now look at me for a second. Now tell me, just say it out loud. What nation did the Lord put on your heart? Just say it. Excellent, excellent. Now I'm gonna pray and I want you to pray for that nation. And we're gonna cover the globe in prayer today. So I'm gonna lead us in prayer. And as I do that, you pray for the nation that God put on your heart. God, I thank you for your heart for the nations, God. It's your desire that everyone would come to the knowledge of Christ. And Lord, I know that one day every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that you are Lord. And today we lift up the nations, Lord. We know that is in your heart and we want to be in our heart what is in your heart, God. And so we pray, Lord, we pray for the nations, for those nations today where there is persecution running wild. God, I pray that the name of Jesus would be lifted up on high. And Lord, every person who needs to see your face, Lord, maybe in the midst of their pure persecution today, Lord, would you meet them today? Lord, every nation, Lord, that has no idea who you are, Lord, I know today you are showing up and you are meeting in visions, the Muslim people. So Lord, I pray today, God, you would continue to meet people, Lord. And I pray today for your church, Lord, today that they are the hands and the feet and the mouthpiece of you, Lord Jesus, around this world, that we would make your name known. God, and we would speak in love. Lord, we would bring your grace and your peace around this world. God, today, let your church arise. Let a revival be sparked around the world, Jesus. We pray for it today. Lord, we pray for every nation, Lord, that you've put on our hearts. We lift it up. God, that today your name would be lifted up on high. And we give you all glory and honor and praise in the name of Jesus. And everyone said together, amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen, amen, amen. Wonderful worshiping with you today. Thank you for being here. Uh, what a great, great time of worship. Pastor Robert uh, has a great interview he's doing with Franklin Graham here in just a moment. Uh, we'll get to that in a second. But first, why don't you turn around, find someone, tell them you're glad to see them, and then you can have a seat. Gateway Church is proud to announce that the Gateway Conference is now available to watch online. This year, we are...